it makes you be able to like unlock your potential. And I think without it, you know, it can be a lot harder uh, to see your goals and um, with so much interference. Um, so if if that's you know if that isn't there. Uh, a lot of people aren't going, you know, reach the heights that they could. And I believe that is so apl applicable to myself. Um, you know, 18 months ago, I never believed that I'd be in the spot I am right now. I definitely think it's important to have ac access to the outdoors because, um, talking from personal experience, I was quite used to sort of living life in my sort of perceived comfort zone. So that would sort of be... Um, going to school, going home, doing my work. And that's sort of only really what I did was doing with my life. So I sort of thought that I had to sort of take a step to do something amazing to sort of achieve my full potential and actually try and um, exceed my uh, comfort zone in order to challenge myself and see what I'm truly capable of. And that definitely helped with um, my independence as like I can take, I take myself to school now and I feel a lot more confident meeting new people. Time away from kind of technology as a whole does wonders for your mental health. I mean, I know everyone thinks, oh yeah, well I only spend this amount of time on my phone, but when you don't have access to it for three weeks, you kind of forget about it and you just focus on what's important now and kind of living in the moment a bit more. Um, and it really does do wonders for your mental health. Um, it was, I found it a lot more kind of anxiety relieving than I thought I would um because I went but before the trip I was very I was in a very bad headspace despite having a supportive family um and by the time I got back I found that actually I know it's cheesy but I'd really developed as a person and I came out a lot more positive than I went in and it's still kind of continued to the current day so I think it's just kind of important to have time away from normality. I, I think um, Go Next Vision made me realise and appreciate that what they were saying was wrong and that I was so much more of a better and stronger person that, than them. And I sort of realised that the things that they said about me, sort of, they... Uh, made quite f a few horrible comments about my disability, which is my visual impairment. And that sort of gave me the inner drive to prove them wrong. And I I'd say it's worked because I haven't been bullied since coming back. Um, but I definitely say it's given me strength because I know I'm a much more better person. And that, um, yeah, and that it's, more, it's mind over matter. People can say things, but it's what you do with your life. it made my world a lot bigger and by that I, I, I've had a very you know restric restricted childhood um, and uh, I was um, from you know a, a poor background I'd never been abroad I didn't have a passport I, ha I hadn't seen much of the world and so my um, up until then my world was very small and it, it was hard to see myself outside of that and to see them them aspirations that I want actually, you know, could be a real possibility for me. I think it's probably one of the most memorable moments of my whole expedition was when, because um, we have compass, their compasses, but not like physical compasses, their kind of personal development. Um, so it shows you all the different directions you can grow in. Um, and we were going through compasses one by one with our um, leaders. And I did mine with my science leader, obviously, because we both like science, we got on really well. Um, and I felt like, because I still had that mindset, I felt like sometimes I wasn't fully included in the fire. Um, because there were kind of like groups of people who knew each other or groups of people who had a lot in common and that I didn't necessarily have with other people. Um, and she told me that even though I don't necessarily fit into one single group, I don't have to, because actually, if I don't fully fit into one group, 
I can still partially fit into other groups, but I don't need to fit into other groups. I know it sounds really kind of cheesy and cliche, but she kind of helped me feel more comfortable in my own skin and make me feel like I don't constantly have to be surrounded by people to be happy. I can just rely on myself, my knowledge and my environment instead of just having to think, oh no, I'm not sat with someone, I'm, I'm, I'm so lonely, I'm terrified and stuff. So I think being thrown in at the deep end with 15 people was hard, but it was probably kind of what I needed.